We're hearing now from that infamous imposter at Nelson Mandela's memorial service. The sign language interpreter on stage just inches from President Obama was displaying the sign equivalent of gibberish. He says he was seeing angels. ABC's Gio Benitez here with the latest. Good morning, Gio. Good morning, George. So many asking, how was he even there? Now, the South African government speaking out this morning, and so is the interpreter himself, saying he's schizophrenic. This morning, a shocking confession from the man at the center of an international controversy. I see angels come to the stadium. Speaking out for the first time since his head-scratching translation of Nelson Mandela's memorial. Sign language interpreter Thomas Anquajanchi says he isn't a fraud like so many have claimed, but that he had a schizophrenic episode during the event and that he started hallucinating. Sometimes I will uh, react violence. Sometimes I will, I, I will see like things like chasing me. And then, you know, I, I was in a very, very, very uh, uh, difficult position. Janchi admitting he is is currently seeking treatment for schizophrenia and that he has been violent in the past. The revelation raising grave concerns this morning. Janchi was front and center at the memorial, just feet away from Mandela's family and 91 heads of state. But it wasn't long before people started noticing his signs didn't match the other translator on South African television. We applaud you and thank you for that. One expert, who's deaf, told us through an interpreter that John Chi didn't even know the sign for the name Nelson Mandela. Nelson Boniclafa Mandela. This is a sign for Mandela uh, because of the fact that he used to comb his hair uh, in a side pot. John Chi insists that he's interpreted several high profile events before, including this one alongside President Zuma. But if I've offended anyone, please forgive me. And the South African government now saying this morning it did not hire the interpreter. Instead, the government says it paid the company he works for. Owners of that company have now disappeared. George and Robin? At least for a while. Okay, Gio, thanks mm -hmm. very much.